Today, we're going to be spending another 100 days in Fusion-only Pixmon. This is a continuation on from 100 days in Pixmon Fusion. So if you haven't already seen it, pause this video, go watch that, and then watch this one afterwards. Otherwise, you may get a few spoilers. Now, I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of yapping. Let's get into it. <sighs> we're back, and we're being watched. Um, uh, <laughs> well... We are back in the world of Pixmon, back on the Smash MC server. In fusion fashion, you already know what we have to do. We have to retire every single Pokemon that we used last time. Of course, we will keep one of the Pokemon on us. Let's start out with Reshiram. Let's bring Reshiram in as our first fusion that we're going to look for today. And that, of course, means that we need to find ourselves a Shinx, but not any ordinary Shinx. We need to try and find a shiny one to fuse with our shiny Reshiram. We've got loads of people waiting around the base right now, showing off all of their amazing Pokemon, which is so cool to see. Well, kickstart off by trying to find ourselves a shiny Shinx. Now, I have been told that someone has a special plan well, a special challenge for us. Let's tip you on over to the real Cyan X. Here he is. Okay, here is the book that Cyan has. And he says, it's named your reward. Interesting. Okay, right. So, challenges to complete for a legendary reward. Ooh, okay. Challenge number one, catch a legendary in the war zone. Okay. Challenge two, create a fusion Pokemon. Challenge three, open a common lucky block and have it upgrade to epic rarity. Once you have completed all of these, TP to Cyan for a reward. Okay. Very interesting. Well, we'll keep that in our inventory for now. Thank you very much, Cyan. I will try my best to complete these challenges and I will be back with you very, very soon. So we're going to RTP out. And we're going to go around and have a little look to see if we can find ourselves a Savannah biome. Hey, there we go. Shout out to Mr. Phantom for TPing me into a Savannah biome. Now we can actually head out and see if we can find ourselves a Shinx. Now, it looks like there may be a platform up here. Let's see if we can get up to the platform real quick with our Reshiram. So Shinx are spawning up here, which is amazing. We're going to just run around and hopefully we can find ourselves a Shinx. Well, a shiny one. The real Cyan, oh, by the way, forgot to give you something. Oh, okay. Um, hello? <laughs> what is it? Oh, yo, wait, half a stack of common lucky blocks. Yo, thank you. This will help with the challenges. Awesome. Okay, so I assume he was meant to give me these where we had challenge number three, which of course is to open a common lucky block and have it upgrade to an epic rarity. But I guess we can go ahead and actually start opening up lucky blocks. We have 32 of them now, which is great. It means that we have a great chance of having one of these upgrade fully. Problem is, it's not a very high chance. Now, if we go ahead and... Oh, we... okay, we can't place them on this bit. Come on. Okay, right. So only issue here is, is this. It's simple. Um, upgrading to an epic lucky block from a common is very, very rare. So whether or not we're able to do this or not is a very different story. Hey, there's one. There's a go look. See, I feel like we should just be murdering these guys. I don't see the point in actually catching them. Explode. Alola Marowak. That, I mean, it's cool. I don't think it has a fusion though. But I'm going to catch it anyway, just in case it does. There we go. Altaria doesn't have a fusion. Okay, we're going to open up 10 of these in total. And then we're going to continue looking for our Shinx. Thwacky is not... I don't think Rillaboom has a fusion either. Oh, we're getting so unlucky with these right now. Come on. Right, uh, one more, I think. And we get Hariyama. Okay. Hey, well, we got one upgrade, which is really, really good. Let's go ahead and open that bad boy up. Come on, please. A shiny worm pool. Yeah, we're murdering that. Oh, okay. Well, it's been a few days now. We've gained a lot of levels on Reshiram, as you can see, by just defeating stuff. But I figured out a better way to do it. So, essentially, what I've been doing is going to slash spawn. Wait around here for, like, 30 seconds. Just have a little run around. And then, eventually, when you do slash back... All the spawns reset, which means that I don't have to keep murdering everything. I could just sit here and wait for everything to spawn, which is perfect. Although I have just had someone try to TP to... What is this? Simon Says. Okay, uh, interesting. Okay, we're doing Simon Says for some for some legendaries. Okay, well, I've been given a new hat for this 100 days, I guess. <laughs> Instead of having agreed it now, I now have a Christmas Sir Doof on my head. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is going on? We're meant to be catching like a bunch of fusion Pokemon, but instead we're playing Simon Says with a 
I'm so confused. <laughs> so we're waiting for this thing to start. And I'm seeing all these people with their, like, fusion hats and stuff. Um, we've got a custom, like, galaxy reg ice over there as well, which is super cool. All right. Here we go. There's quite a few of us here now. <laughs> Spin it till I say stop. Okay, we're spinning. We just can't stop unless he says Simon says stop. This is not going to look nice for you guys. <laughs> I'm just trying to catch some, make fusion Pokemon, not spin on a circle. Oh, okay. He said stop. Okay, we have stopped. Oh, first to finish the parkour is the winner. Go, go, go. No, I fell off. Go, 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 go. No, they just flew to the end. What cheaters? Ah, <laughs> okay. Come on, parkour, parkour. Okay, here we go. Yes. Okay. What am I meant to do here? Oh, what is this? Oh, I did it. Oh, no. We fell. <laughs> we were cooking. Oh, slash TPA. Oh, I hit the checkpoint. I hit the checkpoint. Okay, phew. No. Okay, come on. We can cook on this. We can cook. No. <laughs> oh, this, tea, this parkour is so difficult. Go. Yes. Okay. One eternity later. We did it. Yes! We did it! Woohoo! We completed the parkour! Woohoo! Let's go! <laughs> oh, that was painful, but we did it! We have completed the parkour. Oh, well, hopefully, I think that means that we win, right? I don't know what we win, but hopefully, we win something. And there we go. We finally got our reward for completing the Simon Says Parkour. And we got ourselves a Rayquaza, which is insane. It's got 31 in attack, defense, special attack, and speed. That's pretty darn good. <laughs> All right, so now it is time to go ahead and open up our next set of lucky blocks. Hopefully, we can get some upgrades. Oh, okay, we got two. We got three. Oh, okay, four. Hello. This has got a great potential. Come on. Luxio as well. Okay. Honestly, it's actually not that bad. Let's go ahead and catch these guys real quick. I don't know why I'm catching everything. I just... Yeah, we're just catching everything, I guess. Some of these Pokemon actually do work with fusions, though. So this is actually really nice. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to do an RTP out. And hopefully, we can use these lucky blocks to get exactly what we need. You know what? We're going to open them up underneath this for some luck. Here we go. Please give me an upgrade. <gasps> Straight away. No way. Please, another one. Okay, a shiny Dwebble, shiny Jump Pluff, and a shiny Omanyte. Now, we're on our last lucky block. All right, here we go. It's time to open up our rare lucky block. Hopefully, we can get something good. And maybe we'll get an upgrade. That would be amazing. Three, two, and one. Oh! Okay, we get ourselves a legendary Xerneas. Honestly, it's not an upgrade, but I will definitely take it. Right, okay, so now that we have a Xerneas as well, what I need to do is go ahead and empty out my PC once again and only leave the Pokemon in here that have fusions. Now that we have all of these Pokemon right here, we have quite a few Pokemon that have fusion potential. But the problem is I need to complete this challenge, which means catch a legendary. I need to create a fusion and I need to open common lucky blocks, which I need to upgrade to epic rarity, which is insane. And I don't know if we're going to be able to complete all these challenges in this set of 100 days, but we're going to try our very best. Okay, so I've taken a little break from trying to hunt for the Shinx because it's taken so long to find. I've decided to head into the end biome. So the reason I've come to the end is because I'm looking for a Pokemon with a specific spawn area of only the end biome. And the reason for this is very simple, and that is because we need to go ahead and find ourselves an Iron Valiant. Now, I'm not going to tell you which Pokemon it fuses with yet, but if you do know, make sure to comment down below what you think it is. And if you get it right, I will heart your comment. Oh, no. No. Toby has just sent me a Hooper as well. Oh, I don't know if I should accept this or not. Right, guys, since we have a limited amount of time on how long we can spend in each of these 100 days, make sure to let me know down in the comment section whether or not you think this Hooper is allowed or if you guys are happy for me to take gifts from people as long as they're not fusion Pokemon. 
If you are, we'll be happy to use the Hooper. If not, we will just leave it in the PC for now. Because I'm pretty sure Hooper does actually fuse with something, which we already have. So we can actually create a fusion right now. But I want to try and find this Iron Valiant first. All right, so literally all I've been doing is like flying over to that platform, flying onto this platform, and flying over to those little platforms over there, trying my best to find this Iron Valiant. Currently, I have had a zero luck finding it. I am really hoping that I check one of these platforms again, and it will be there very soon because it's taking forever to find this fig. Okay, let's head on up here. <gasps> Wait! No! No! No, 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 no. Slash top, maybe? No! It was right there! It was right there! Quick, we need to go back. We need to slash back. Can we do slash back? No! Oh, no. Uh... Oh, no. It's gonna despawn. It's gonna despawn. No, 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 no! Well, let me on. Let me on! No! Okay, go, 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 go. Please don't be despawned. Please, 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 please. Okay, we're back and it's despawned. <sighs> I, it was right here. And now it's gone. <sighs> well, we're going to continue hunting. And there it is. Finally. Oh my gosh. Finally. It's back. It's been so long. Maybe like two hours of just AFKing, waiting for this bad boy to spawn. And finally, it has appeared. There we go. Okay, we have caught ourselves an Iron Valiant now, which means we can head over to the fusion chamber and create our first fusion Pokemon. Alrighty then. We are heading over to the fusion machine with our Rayquaza and our Iron Valiant. There it is. Rayquaza, Iron Valiant. Fusion key, and it's time to create Radiant. This fusion is so sick. I cannot wait to make it from 2D form to 3D form. Oh my gosh. Now, you can't tell me that this isn't one of the coolest fusion Pokemon that you have ever seen in your life. Now, look at this, man. It is so cool. Yo. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now this is a very cool fusion Pokemon. I think it's time that we go ahead and give it a name. Now, who should I name this Pokemon after? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we go ahead and name it after someone that has been hanging out on the server with us quite a lot recently. And that is Jesper Pro. So let's go ahead and name this Pro after Mr. Jesper. Oh, we'll go with Jesper. He's right here now. Here he is. And I've named it after him. There we go. Can I name a Pokemon after you? I have already. It is named after you, my friend. And it looks like we've been given a specific Pokemon paper. I am going to stop taking, like, freebies from people now because we're going to just get so much added to us otherwise, which is not always ideal. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and open the random one. We get a pink urchin. That is fine. We're going to bin that bad boy right there. Ourselves the correct Pokemon, which is a shiny Luxray. But first, let's turn Jesper into a shiny. Here it is. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. Yo, this is one of my favorite fusions ever. I, oh my gosh. This is crazy. All right, so... I have set up a, a new little mail area right here, which Jesper is currently checking out. This is Wilson's mail. If you guys ever want to put in any gifts or whatnot or any messages, if you put them in through there, I will be able to read them when we start the next set of videos. Just like how there's now two orbs inside there too. But the mail would be much more appreciated just because it's something I can read out and just have a little look at every time that I log onto the server. Okay, so what we want to do now, though, is go ahead and claim our specific Pokemon papers. Now, this is a really easy one for me because I know exactly what I want to go ahead and claim. We got a Charizard, and I want to claim myself a Corviknight. Now, the reason for this is simple. So if we head on over to the Fusion Chamber... We can go ahead and actually claim a new fusion Pokemon. You probably would have guessed by now is a fusion between Charizard and Corviknight. So let's go ahead and put those bad boys into the fusion machine. And there we go. Corvizard is being created. Probably my second favorite fusion that we currently have on the server. It looks amazing. It's so cool. And there it is in all of its glory. Look at that beast. Holy. Here we go. 
Oh my gosh, he is absolutely humongous. Um, can we can we get up to him? Hang on, let's let's get the fly enabled real quick. Just to check out this guy. Oh my gosh, he is huge. Why is he so big? Um, okay. Interesting. Um, look at the size of this thing. Uh, now he's a Beyblade. Why is he a Beyblade now? I'm so confused. He is massive, but I can't lie. This guy looks insane, and I am super happy to have these new fusion Pokemon on my team. Now we just got to try and get this Luxray. That's the last thing that we basically need in order to complete the first three fusions that we had today. And we also need to fill up our orb of static souls. So we have a lot of different things that we need to get done today. What we want to go ahead and figure out is what Pokemon we could buy off the GTS. Now, if you remember from before in our very first ever 100 days in Fusions Pixelmon, we had an amazing thumbnail. Shout out to my girlfriend for that one, though. The Pokemon that was on it was a Lucatrez, which is a Galarian Moltres and a Lucario. Now, we can go ahead and actually buy a Galarian Moltres off of the GTS right there. Perfect. Now, if we evolve our Ryolu, we'll be able to get another fusion to join the team. But that obviously means we have to evolve the Ryolu, which means we need to get high friendship and we need to get a bunch of levels. So that one might not happen straight away, but we're going to try our best to find the Shinx whilst leveling up Ryolu. So maybe in a minute, we may have another two fusion stats in the team, which is crazy because we've had so many fusions just appear out of nowhere in like all of a sudden within like five minutes. That's what this series is all about. You know, we have to find fusions. We have to catch every fusion we possibly can in the server. They're going to keep adding more weekly. So we need to continue to try our best to keep up with the amount they're adding. And hopefully by the end of this series, we'll have every single fusion Pokemon in our PC Unlike last series, we got to 500 days, a server reset, which meant that we couldn't catch every last one. We were only missing like three or four fusions. Nowadays, we've been missing like 10 because there's so many more, but we're going to do it. We've got it this time. Right, so we're in a savannah biome again. Let's just wait around now for our Shinx. All right, and we are finally back and it looks like we have a lot of different spawns we have shinks everywhere we have luxio niran dreepies we've got niran we've got doduo we've got volaby smoliv ekans and there it is yes finally we find the shiny shinx oh my gosh it took a long time now if we head on back to our base i think that there was someone here who wanted to say hello so shout out to Eddie, my bro. He said he wanted to be in the video. Well, now he is. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and name my Corvazard after you, Mr. Eddie. There you go. Corvazard is now named after you. Well, shout out to you, Eddie. And hello to Mr. Toby. We still need to name a, a uh, fusion after you, to be fair. Um, okay, well, hang on. Let's go ahead and head over to the warp training. And I'm going to go ahead and actually get myself leveled up as much as I possibly can. Let's make sure our EXP all is on. There we go. And we're going to spend a little bit of time leveling up our team. And hopefully we can get this Ryolu and Shinx evolved and do two fusions. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It's going to be amazing. I cannot wait. And finally, Ryolu is here. High enough happiness that he is evolving into Lucario. Perfect. Okay. Slash warp fusions. Let's go ahead and create some new fusions. Here we are. We have made it to the fusion machine. Let's go ahead and make up our next set of fusion Pokemon. Okay. So we have Reshiram and we have Luxray. Let's add in the fusion key and we can create... Reshiray. Here we go. Come on. Yo, look at that. The shiny version too. It looks so good. <laughs> there we go. Let's take a look at Reshiray real quick. Such a cool fusion Pokemon. I love the yellow and the black. I can't lie. I am a sucker for getting those types of Pokemon. They look so good. And finally, we can create one more fusion Pokemon right here. It's our signature one, Lucatres. <laughs> here he is. Finally, the prodigal son returns. Lucatres has made a return to the fusion series. Looking amazing as always. We now have added Lucatres and shiny Reshiray to the group. So now we have Lucatres, shiny Reshiray, we have Eddie, who is our giant Corviknight and Charizard. And we, of course, have our shiny 
I am Valiant and Rayquaza. It looks so good. Perfect. Okay. So now that we've done that, we do need to name two of our fusions. We're going to our most recent Pixelmon one, which of course was 100 days in fusion Pixelmon. And let's go into the comment section and have a little look. Dry Zero. He commented on our last video saying, WVID, been waiting for some more Pixelmon content and Wilson never disappoints. So there we go, Dre, or Dry. I don't know how you pronounce it, but that is your Pokemon right there, Mr. Reshiray. And then Lucratrez, we are going to be naming Toby. There we go. Perfect. Now we need to get two more fusions, which will complete one of our goals, which of course is to get six different fusion Pokemon during each 100 days that we do. I think what we want to do now is figure out exactly which fusion we want to add to the team next. And I I think the one that I am going to go for is going to be, I think maybe the Pumpkaboo and Hydreigon fusion. I don't think that we have a ghost or a dark type yet, which would be great. Although the only problem is I'm worried it might be a dragon type. So what we're going to do is we're going to head into the war zone now in order to try and get ourselves a bunch of new Pokemon. Now, another nice thing as well is, of course, we have our mailbox, which has a bunch of amazing Pokeballs inside of it, like Part Balls and Master Balls, which you guys can give me in this little bit right here to help me with my journey. And hopefully, we can get ourselves some legendary Pokemon. So let's go ahead and do slash PC. We're going to put our Pokemon in right here. And we're going to grab out our lovely Warzone team in order to try our best to find some brand new fusion Pokemon. So let's go to the war zone. Let's enter in. Hopefully we can find something good. Fingers crossed. And here we are inside of the war zone. Now we need to try our best to avoid other trainers because right now I'm not really trying to find a fight. I need to basically catch Pokemon in order to get myself more level 100s. And I want to try my best to find legendaries as well. Now, if we do catch a legendary, obviously, we'll then just teleport straight out and we'll save it. But if not, we're just going to stay here until our timer runs out. And hopefully we can find some more fusion Pokemon. Is this guy going to be friendly? I think he's scared of me. I don't think he likes me. Who's that? There's a helper. Okay. So we've got a couple of different people hanging around in here. But hopefully we can be friendly with them and then we'll be okay. So what we want to do right now is look for any Pokemon that can fuse and then go ahead and obviously catch them. But right now, I'm not seeing many. Ooh, okay, a Mudkip. Perfect. Let's go ahead and catch this bad boy right here. Get him up to a Swampert, and I'm pretty sure he can fuse with a Kyogre. And a Tepig as well. Another starter Pokemon, but once again, another Pokemon that can get a fusion. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, hang on. We made it. Let's stop catching the Tepig. Let's stop catching the Tepig. A Landorus just spawned. Please be on me. Please, please, please. Yo, please. Where is it? Landorus. Ooh, hoo, hoo. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. Come on, Lando. Come on, Lando. No, 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 no. He's on a roof. Why can't I throw a ball? Oh, no. I can't actually try and I can't catch it. It won't let me. Why? Can we like throw a ball normally? We can't. Wait. No. We can't catch it. No, 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 no. Landorus has a fusion as well. Come on, man. Is it because we threw the ball and it went so high that it hasn't landed yet? No, and we messed it up again. Oh, no. And we're going to get kicked out of the war zone soon. No. Oh, please, 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 please. Why did it have to fly? Come on. Please, please, please. Throw, throw, throw. Land, Venusaur, land. No, we're not going to get it. Come on. Please, please, please. Can I like, extend my time? Come on, please. No, no. We couldn't get it because of a glitch. No. Oh, that's sad. But we, of course, are going to head straight back into the war zone. Unfortunately, we only got one Pokemon because we weren't able to catch it. That stupid Landorus. Oh, that's so irritating, man. I'm just going to give myself like max seconds. I think it's up to 600, I think. Yep, there we go. I'm going to enter back in and hopefully we can find some more Pokemon. Ooh, okay. Curly is a good one. Curly has a new fusion with, I think it's Aegislash. So if we can find an Aegislash, very, very good one to pair up with this Curlia right here. Looks like we've got some friends in the war zone. They seem to be okay and they don't seem to be attacking so we should be safe hopefully <laughs> oh grotto 
That is definitely one that we can fuse straight away. It goes with, of course, Lapras. Oh my gosh, wait. An ancient Kartana has just spawned in the war zone. Oh my gosh. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yo, wait, where is it? Where's the boy? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Someone has it. Where is it? Oh my gosh. Ancient Kartana. Oh no, someone found it. Oh no, it's right there. Yo, look at this. That is sick. Oh, it's so cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a fusion though. So it's not something that we would actually need. Oh, wait, there's another one. There's another ancient Pokemon. Yo, can I come and see it, please? I want to see it. Yo, ancient Meloetta. That is so sick. Bro, I'm not finding any of these legendaries. Oh, Dude Blade. We definitely need that. Yes. All right. So we are out of the war zone for the second time now. And we managed to get a Curlia, a Grottle, Combuskin, Eevee, Dude Blade, and a Empoleon. So not too bad. We're going to go in one more time. And if we find anything good, I will be back. Oh, there's a Delmise over here as well. Honestly, we've actually found a lot of Pokemon that we actually need for fusion. So be prepared because we might be able to make a bunch of fusions after this. All right, listen, listen, guys, listen. I'm back in the war zone once again. I'm addicted. I can't lie. I... I am trying my hardest to find a legendary. I am not going to stop in this stupid war zone until I get myself a legendary Pokemon. Hear my words, all right? That's what's going to happen. We're going to stay here until we find a stupid legendary Pokemon. I'm going to chill here. I'm not going to make you guys bore through watching me just stay here. Because a lot of it is just AFKing and not actually doing anything. So we're going to try our best to find a legendary Pokemon Hopefully, we can find one. No way! It's not a legendary, but it's a Breloom. Come on! Oh, let's go. If you're an OG of the channel, you know that we absolutely love Mr. Breloom. Let's go! Woo! By the way, um, still, still no legendary. Um, all right, we're gonna find one. It's gonna happen. I'm sure of it. Any minute now. Three, two, one. Any minute. Come on. Any minute now. Any minute now. Oh, okay. Oh, here it is. Come on, fight, fight, fight. And Massable, go. So we got ourselves a Mudkip, Turtwig, Curlia, Grottle, Combuscan, Eevee, Dewblade, Empoleon, Charizard, Talonflame, Mimikyu, Delmise, Mudkip, Mudkip 2, Zylos, Gyarados, and of course, Necrozma. Now what we want to go ahead and do is find the Pokemon we need for our Necrozma. And I'm thinking what we want to go ahead and do as well is add these two to the team to create another fusion Pokemon. And I want to get myself one singular level on to that Grottle to evolve it up into a Torterra. There we go. Okay, Grottle is now finally evolving into a Torterra. There we go. Perfect. And we can get Earthquake on this bad boy right here. Let's get everyone healed up real quick. And then we're going to head over to the fusion chamber. Let's go ahead and create a new fusion between Delmise and Torterra. There's Torterra and there is Delmise. Put in the fusion key and let's create Delterra. Also, I don't know why my quick balls look like this, uh, but they do. So, <laughs> yo, Del Terra, such a cool fusion Pokemon. And I think it's a great typing to add to the team. There we go. And it's huge. Oh my gosh. Now, the question is, what do we want to name this Del Terra? Let me go ahead and have a little look in the videos. I'm going to go ahead and name this Del Terra after a subscriber called... Hannah Jane Stano 8282, who said, I hope you will consider micro request for you to use only Ultra Beast Pokemon. Love your videos. Now, Hannah, that is a great idea and is 100% something that I'd be definitely interested in doing. So thank you for the request. Thank you for the love. Now, in order to get our final fusion Pokemon, we have to go out and actually do some mining, which is, sounds very weird, but... We do have to go mine some stuff in order to get ourselves a new fusion Pokemon. So if we head back to the home, here we are. All right, I know exactly what we need to do. So if you can figure out what we're trying to do right now, make sure you do a comment down below. But if you're not sure, stay tuned and we will have it very, very soon. So what we need to do is head on down and dive down deep into the ocean. Oh, there is one. Okay, perfect. 
We finally found one of the items we need. So the jig is up. We are trying to get ourselves fossil Pokemon. So in order to get the fossil that we need, we got to mine up a bunch of these covered fossils. And hopefully we can get the ones that we actually need. All right, so I've been told to take a break from trying to find fossils and teleport over to a giant ship. This is the SS Wator. Wator? Interesting. Um, and oh my gosh, is it massive. I mean, it's kind of like sinking right now because it's just a hole, but look at the state of this thing. This is insane. How long is this? Jeez, this is a big boat. Okay. Damn. Well, when this is definitely fully made, Water, please let me know and I will come and check this out because it looks so cool. Right, anyway, let's get back. Let's dive down off of the SS Water. And let's go ahead and get ourselves a bunch more of the fossils. All right, and we have made it back to the fossil area. And we've got a bunch of fossils that we need to go ahead and clean. I'm hoping and praying that one of these is, of course, the one that we need. Although none of these doors seem to want to close. Uh, that's not good. Um, <laughs> okay. Interesting. Well, we're going to have to just, like, hope that nobody comes in and tries to steal our fossils. Um, we're going to be back once we've fully... Well, I guess you call it restored. I, I guess fully restored all of these Pokemon. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. There's another one. And... There is another one. Now, I don't think that we got it. No, we didn't get the jaw fossil. <sighs> okay, well, back to the water. We're swimming around in the deep blue ocean. And there's no fossils to be seen. Is that one? I really can't tell. Is that one? No, I'm just drowning. Ow! Okay, well, we're going to find a bunch more fossils and then we're going to head back over and I'll meet you at the fossil chambers. All right, we have made it back and we have now got a bunch of fossils. So let's go ahead and restore every single one of these fossils. Hopefully, one of them is the one that we are looking for, which of course is the jaw fossil. Yes, we got the jaw. Perfect. There we go. We got two of them as well. So I guess we'll, we'll actually restore both and see which one is better. Finally, that took way too long, but I have finally managed to get them. Perfect. Let's grab up our little baby tyrants. There we go. Let's see which one is better. IVs five, IV six. Okay, cool. Now what we want to do is go ahead and actually level up our tyrant to a tyrantrum. So let's head back to the warp training area and we can evolve up our tyrantrum and then we can go ahead and create our last sixth and final fusion Pokemon of this 200 days. And finally, here we are. Tyrant is evolving. Perfect. Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys this new fusion. It's the newest fusion on the Smash MC server at the moment. And honestly, it looks insane. So let's head over to the warp fusions area let's grab out our fusion key and we can go ahead and actually create our sixth and final fusion pokemon which means now that we have six fusion pokemon we can once again go ahead and open up a legendary crate and hopefully we'll actually be able to get something good from that as well so let's put everything in real quick we'll put in the fusion key and we can make Hi, rasma here we go <laughs> and <laughs> Uh, well, this is awkward, isn't it? Uh, I guess I need to update my texture pack. Uh, slash texture. Uh, give me two seconds. <laughs> and we are back. Here it is. Oh my gosh. This thing has to be my new favorite. This is insane. I thought that Jesper looked cool. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This thing is so cool. What? Oh my gosh. Look at this beast. He's so cool. <laughs> All right. Well, I think the most important part now is that we have to go ahead and rename our Tyrasma. And I think I have the perfect name for it. It looks insane. I love it so much. We're going to go ahead and give it a name of Cyan. There we go. Perfect. This thing looks so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. This absolute 
Behemoth of a Pokemon. Looking insane. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. I don't want to not use it anymore. I want this to just always be on my team. It's time to head over to the crates and open up our legendary crate. All right, we are here and it is time to open up our legendary crate for getting six fusion Pokemon. Here we go. Come on. Give us something good. Come on. Please don't be bad. A legendary shiny convert and a legendary plus 10 IV boost. Ooh, okay. Not bad, not bad at all. What we're going to do now is get everyone up to level 100 and then... We're going to finally take on Mr. Syrid. Now we have every single Pokemon up to level 100. Let's head on over to the Mart and get all of our Pokemon's moves perfectly set out. So just quickly, another thing I completely forgot about was my secret reward from Mr. Cyan. Now, in order to get this, we needed to complete a bunch of challenges. Now, we completed Catch a Legendary in the War Zone. We completed Create a Fusion Pokemon but we didn't complete open a common lucky block and have it upgrade to epic rarity. So I'm going to head around onto the GTS, head around all the players on the server and see if I can get my hands on a bunch of lucky blocks. Now, the reason I say this is because I have 112K that we've been saving up throughout this 100 days. And I want to see if I can get myself a bunch of lucky blocks and complete this challenge to see what Syed has in our reward. If I can go on to the battle pass as well, should be a bunch of stuff we can claim on here. So let's go ahead and grab all of this stuff real quick. Okay, so with that, we get ourselves two common lucky blocks and one uncommon lucky block. So we're going to see how many we can gather up and then we will be back. All right, so it's been about an entire day in real life and I have managed to gather up a bunch of lucky blocks over the past few hours that I have been trying to get them. I have managed to get myself 34 common lucky blocks, 20 uncommon lucky blocks, and two rare lucky blocks through buying on the GTS from players and also from completing challenges and getting a bunch of them from the battle pass and whatnot. So now we can go ahead and actually open these and hopefully, fingers crossed, we get ourselves an upgrade. So let's RTP out for some luck, hopefully. We're in a jungle. Let's just clear this bit here. This will do. This will do fine. There we go. Right, we'll start with our common lucky blocks. Let's open these bad boys up. Hopefully, we can get either stuff that is in a fusion or hopefully some upgrades. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, something like the Combuscan is something we need. Come on. We're going through these so fast. Lapras. There we go. Perfect. There we go. We'll open up a load more of these bad boys. See, now, I, a part of me wants to just catch everything just in case they do get fusions in the future. We already have them. But I'll be honest, I can't really be bothered to catch everything. I don't really want to waste all of the balls that we have. So we're going to open up these last ones. And there we go. Okay, so... We got a bunch of upgrades. Let's do a quick old slash spawn slash back to reset the spawning. Now let's open up our uncommon lucky blocks and hopefully we can get some upgrades. Boom, 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 boom. Nothing good here. Nothing good here. An upgrade. Perfect. Another upgrade. Let's go. Okay, let's go ahead and actually catch this Torah out real quick because this is actually one that we need. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. There we go. We get a bunch of stupid shinies, though, that we don't need, which is kind of annoying. Oh, we do get ourselves a shiny frogadier, though, which is not bad at all. We get a shiny Gardevoir as well. Hello. And a shiny Glaceon. Okay, so not too bad there. A pretty decent turnout. We did get ourselves two upgrades, so we have four chances at getting the upgrade. Let's get into the shade and let's open up our four rare lucky blocks please 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 can we get something good here number one is a reggie eliki interesting okay not too shabby at all we'll take a reggie eliki it does have a fusion which is always amazing next up we have boom 
A Latios. I don't think it has a fusion, unfortunately. So that is really sad. Come on. Next up is a Marshadow. And finally, the one to see if we'll complete science challenge. Three, two, one. A Palkia. Okay, there we go. That's not too bad. But unfortunately, we didn't get the upgrade, which really, really sucks. So let's go ahead and head on over to the Syru boss as we unfortunately won't be completing the challenges today. I'm sorry, Sire. We will try in our next 100 days, but hopefully we can at least open one more lucky block, which of course would be a god lucky block. If we can defeat Mr. Syru, we will get the god lucky block, but if we're not able to, we will leave with our hands empty and have to continue in to 300 days in Fusion Pixamum. Here we are. It is time to make our way up to the boss tower. We need to insert some boss music right now. Like, do, 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 Here we go. It is time to take on Mr. Syrood in the battle. I think he's just going to go for Sucker Punch here. So we're going to go for the Iron Defenses to get max defenses on our boy right here. There we go. Now let's go for the Skyforge Surge to take down the Spirit Tomb. Nice and easy. Here we go. Nice chip damage. And we take him down. Okay, perfect. Next up is Lucario. Interesting. He goes for the close combat, which is really nice because he's now had his defenses dropped nicely. Okay. Um, I think here we would want to go into Hana and go for the EQ, right? Okay, we avoid the Meteor Mash. That is so big. Yes. Okay. Next up comes Garchomp. He goes for the EQ. That is fine. We need to figure out how we want to take this thing down, though, is the problem. Um, okay, let's go here. And let's go for Draconic Kunai. Hopefully, we can avoid his Draco Meteor. Okay, we survived just. Oh. Okay, and we take down Garchon, which is amazing. Next up is Mutanite. Okay, we get some nice chip damage in, which is good. Next up is Jesper. Jesper comes in for the Soaring Slash to take down Mutanite. Next up is Roserade. Okay, um, let's go into In the Queue here. Goes for Dazzling Gleam. That's great. Flamethrower, decent damage. Come on, we need to get that chip damage in. Okay, next up we go into Dry and we go for Flare Blitz to take down the Roserade. And in comes... Gastrodon. Interesting. Okay, we're going to go for the crunch here. We didn't get the defense drop, which is what I was hoping for. But we go back to Jesper and we go for the Leaf Blade. Take it down. And we won! Yes! We did it! Let's go! We did it! We beat Mr. Syrud. Finally! Oh my gosh, we actually beat him. <laughs> yes! We did it, guys! Let's go! Jesper, the MVP. We did have to bring back some of the guys from our previous teams. For example, like in the queue and Mr. Bite Bandit. But we finally beat Mr. Syrood. Oh my gosh. And you know exactly what that means, guys. We get to open up a god lucky block. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's place down the Lucky Block and let's open it up and hope and pray that we get some good Pokemon. Here we go. Right. Here we go. In free. Well, before we open it, make sure to give me some good luck for this God Lucky Block. Hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel even more, of course, you can hit that join button to become a channel member and get some amazing emotes just like the ones that have popped up on the screen right now with loads more coming very, very soon. Right. No more shameless plugging. Let's go ahead and open up the God Lucky Block. Three, two, one, boom. <sighs> Crimson Dioxys. I think that's a, a corrupted Mesprit and a Crystal Zarud. That was a huge L. No. Ah. <laughs> Oh, no. Well, let's go ahead and real quick check out who we got quickly. So we got this, this, and this. So we got our Crimson Deoxys, which is all right. I mean, it could be used for a fusion, but I feel like we've already made the fusion. We got a Corrupted Mesprit, which is cool, but it's nothing special. And we got the Crystal Zarud as well, which doesn't even have 
a fusion. So that is super, super sad. I think after that absolute bombshell of a god lucky block, we should get ourselves another one and open it in the next 300 days. Now, I need some challenges in order to get that lucky block opened by the end of the 300 days. So comment down below what challenges you want me to do. And I will try my best to make up a really cool set of challenges to complete in order to get myself another god lucky block and have redemption on that absolute bombshell that we just had. And without further ado, I will see you guys in 300 days. Subscribe!